friends, welcome to Vlogist day four. We're just trekking along here. I'm having fun making these vlogs. I hope you guys are enjoying watching them. So I'm coming to you guys from my bathroom because look over there. I am going to talk about that in my favorites video. I should have already posted it by now. It's my July favorites, but shock and awe and surprise, I babbled on and on and on my July favorites. And I have a lot of editing to do because you guys don't need to hear me talk that much. <laughs> I didn't realize that I was. I thought I was going quick and I looked at the camera time and went, this is my essential oil storage rack. I absolutely love it. We decided the perfect place for it would be in our master bathroom just because I go in and out of here a lot, obviously. And I find that it's a really great place to keep the oils that I don't use all the time. I still keep the oils I use every day in my little green bag. I did a collab video with Royal Arts where I shared what I had in my bag at the time. I'll put the card up there. And then I have a little stash of oils on my nightstand, which I also talk about in my favorites video. And then a little tiny container in my nightstand drawer where I keep these special oils. You know, if you're an essential oil person, we all have them. The place where you hoard the oils that are out of stock that you wish would come back. Hello, Valor and Peace and Calming. I don't have a huge stash like a lot of people that I've seen Instagram, oh my word. But I wish I did, but I have a couple of them and I save them for emergencies. I am going to stop babbling again and show you this little cute essential oil rack before I get to work in my office. So here it is guys, up close and personal. Isn't it gorgeous? I've already started to organize by color. And I know in the research that I have done that the color coding system all means something. But in my research, I have not found out exactly what the specific colors mean with every grouping of oil. If you guys know any of that amazing information, please put it down in the comments below. I would love it. So let me show you what I got going on here. This is brightness here. Y'all know the best way to use this. So good for seasonal support. I put together peppermint, lemon, and lavender in the diffuser, and I also take the Vitality oils in a capsule, and I love them, so they just have their own special shelf. I'm starting to develop a collection of the green oils, and these are not all the same color as you can see. This is not really hyper-organized yet, just because I am still figuring out the best system that works for me. Eucalyptus Blue I just got, guys. I'm not gonna lie. When I first smelled it, it smelled like cat pee. Oh, I didn't like it. Probably need it. I thought it was gonna smell refreshing and amazing like Eucalyptus Globulus does. All right, continuing on, Eucalyptus Globulus is one of my very favorite oils. This was not meant to be a tour of my essential oil collection, but I think it's turning into one because this is the coolest rack ever. This is just kind of random stuff that I haven't figured out the best place I wanna put it yet. Um, so these will probably move, but the Northern Lights Black Spruce smells amazing. Magnify Your Purpose, I have been enjoying more and more lately. I did not like the scent when I first got it. Carrot Seed smells terrible, but it's good for so many things. And this little guy is not my favorite smelling oil either, but I have tested for it in uh, muscle testing multiple times, and I find that I like it better when I diffuse it with a different oil. Down here, I've got the Red Row, Love Melrose, Lemongrass, Love Ylang Ylang, of course, the Gold Star, the Gold Star. Standard, the oil we all have to have, frankincense. Raven, I thought I was gonna love, and I have to tell you, it's not my favorite, and I think it's because even though supposedly the oil with the largest component in the blend is Robin Sara, which is one of my favorites, all I smell when I diffuse this is wintergreen, but I'm trying to like that one more. You can tell by the names. These are all emotional support oils, so highest potential is one of my very favorites. I love the smell of that. I don't love the smell of Valor 2 as much as I do with Peace and Calming 2, but I love Valor 2 when you diffuse it with frankincense. It's magical. And then Harmony, this is an incredible oil and quite pricey, and I won this at an essential oil class, and it has been one of my very favorites. And Release, I love my blue labeled oil. Oils, some of my very favorites. Awaken is fabulous. White Angelica is one of my very favorites. I talk about it all the time. Humility is amazing. It smells so, so good. Panaway is one that I'll use in spurts and starts. Right now I'm not really using it, but when you need it, it's the best thing ever, right? Geranium, I don't love the smell of by itself, but I really gravitate to a lot of blends that have geranium in them, as well as patchouli, I love that. And then the Manuka smells very sweet, and I use this one to support my skin. That is my little storage rack, and I love it. It's time for coffee, and it's time to get to work. All right, got my breakfast going on. I use an egg timer when I boil my eggs. Anybody else do this? 
it's red when you first put it in the pot and then when it's ready, it's purple. You can see there, it's been going probably about 10 minutes. And I just use this little thing to take it out. Oh, that one cracked. And I'm gonna take my breakfast and go into my study and get working on a writing project. And I've been meaning to show you guys my study anyway because I'm organizing and quite frankly, it's a huge mess. And so I'm going to use my vlog as an accountability factor. If I show you guys the crazy clutter, it means I have to do something with it. I guess that's just the way I'm wired. I am really excited to make my office a really special place. It's been a dream of mine to have a study that has a wall of books like a library. And that's what I'm creating in there. Greetings from my study. So the way that I have my office arranged currently, the window is behind me when I'm sitting in the desk. And so of course I want to film from the front view of the desk but then the lighting looks terrible. I'm trying to figure out how best to set up my study. Of course, I wanna use natural light and with my window here, and when we open up the shutters and open the window, there's so much great light that gets in here. I'm going to force myself to show you guys this. Now, please, no judgment. I am not the most organized human being on the planet. A lot of it is just papers and clutter and stuff that I'm trying to decide what I need to save and file and what I need to just throw away. And then I have lots of fun stationary products because you know, I'm a stationary nerd. Tons of books. That's actually from removing one of the bookcases from this office and putting it in the living room. And those were the books that were in there. And I'm trying to decide what I can give away and what I wanna keep. And then I have two different units that I picked up at World Market. And we got those over the course of, gosh, a year and a half at least, maybe longer. We bought them one at a time because they were an investment, but really compared to built-ins or you know like a higher end furniture, you cannot beat the price. I think we got both of those for between four and $500 a piece when we bought them. So we just budgeted and bought them over the course of a year and a half, almost two years. So that's what it looks like. And that's my favorite wall in my room. And I'm still working on staging those bookshelves. And when I say staging, I mean just making them look pretty. <laughs> I'll have my books organized for sure, but I am trying to figure out what I wanna put in there and how all is going to look. So I cannot wait to give you guys a tour. But let me show you the stuff that I'm trying to figure out today. So first off, how about a desk tour? It's a completely atrocious mess, but I'm working on it. This is a pile of stuff I have to go through. I had raspberries in here for a midday snack. My mug, of course. I've got lots of pens. This is one of the cute little containers I found, I think, at Home Goods or TJ Maxx. This is one that I picked up at World Market a while ago, really pretty wood design, and then an essential oil resource there. This was a picture of me when I was about five years old at this little place in Colorado called Tiny Town, and I loved libraries, even at a young age. My husband found that in our old pictures, and I left it in here as a reminder of how much I love books. This is actually very cool. It is a tiger that I got when I was in China on tour years ago, and this character writing here is actually my name engraved in uh, Mandarin characters. These are three books by my very, very favorite author, Madeline Langle. This is probably my favorite book in the entire world. This is Walking on Water Reflections on Faith and Art. It is a non-fiction book that she wrote about artists, to artists, for artists. Being a Christian and being an artist is so incredible. External hard drive for editing and then I've got my Erin Condren planner, my Erin Condren notebook. Cannot wait to share more planner videos for you guys. Believe me those are in the works. And my today and to do which I'm loving. And then I just uh, did some writing earlier and I write the word journal and I write prayers in there. And then I've got my diffuser going that I showed you guys. Uh, a couple videos back and these are the oils that I've been using today. I've been diffusing Believe mostly because it's my favorite and then I usually keep lavender nearby because I love to add it to most things that I diffuse and apply it and I just found this one in my purse and I love it. So that's my desk. I'm afraid to show you the real scary mess that's coming but these are my shelves that I'm working on. You guys may have recognized that this area from when I film my videos. I thought you guys would get a kick out of this. These are all of my empty peace and calming bottles. I even have more, which is scary. And obviously I'm not gonna leave it like this, but I just thought it would be funny to have in the background uh, this tray I wanna use for much more practical uses, i.e. oils that are full. But I just thought that was hilarious because it's my favorite oil. So I thought you guys would appreciate that. And then the other tray has my oils of scripture on it. Some of my favorite books on oils. And then there's some more in the background there that I didn't go through earlier, but there's some extras like abundance. I accidentally got a bottle of purification sent to me and when I called customer care, they said to keep it. A couple of extra things like Christmas spirit back there, some rollerball tops. Okay, I have been procrastinating long enough. I've got a pile of stuff that is organized 
and then a pile to go through today. So this is where I keep all of my scores and my music and books on theater and acting and scripts. This is a bunch of magazines that I have to get rid of or give away. And then look at all these scores, guys. I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do. Those are rehearsal scripts and scores, old music. These are all journals that I've collected. I love to collect journals, some I'll eventually use, and then others I love to give away. I love to give journals as presents. I'm organizing some stationery product. This big scary mess. This is what I have to go through. This is a box of odds and ends from, gosh, years ago. And then this looks like a mess, but it's actually not. These are all pictures and prints. These are drawers to the new piece of furniture we got. And this is all art and prints and frame stuff that I've been collecting for like three years. And the goal is to put all of that right there. It's gonna be my gallery wall above my new dresser. And there's my tripod that I film with. So that's about as quick of a tour as I can give you. I'm just doing little bites of it every day or I think I'll get overwhelmed because I am not good at organizing. And if you give me a system, I will keep it in place like a boss. But getting a system in and deciding how things get organized, whew, it's very hard for me and it makes me crazy. My mother-in-law is coming to visit in about a month. So this place has to look spotless before then. <laughs> so that was a little bit of the study tour. If you guys are organizational mavens and have suggestions for how I can organize my office in terms of filing my papers and things like that, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear. All right, I'm gonna finish some work up. Yay for productive Thursdays. Hey guys, it's lunchtime. I'm finding that if I am talking about the food that I'm eating and sharing it with you guys, it just helps keep me accountable. I'm doing my best to stick to a really regimented plan and I'm working out regularly. I find that breakfast is really easy for me to do and dinner's really easy because my husband and I always make dinner together, but getting a lunch that's healthy and at the right time tends to be difficult because I'll forget to eat and eat something quick like I did the other day. I just have a hard time sometimes being consistent about having a good lunch. So let me show you what I got. Yes, it's a frozen meal, but it is one of the Amy's meals, which usually has a little bit better ingredients. It's their light and lean pasta and veggies. Of course, I would prefer to only eat einkorn pasta, but we are out of that right now, and I'm ordering some from Young Living this month. When I get more einkorn pasta, I'll be making my own pasta salad, but I like this because the nutritional profile is pretty good on it. It's about 220 calories, five grams of fat, and it's basically lean wheat pasta, tomato sauce, and broccoli and asparagus. And then I'm having a little small salad with some of that dressing that I showed you guys earlier. And even though it's a creamy dressing, the fat content and calorie content on it is really, really good. So I put less than a full serving in there. And that's just the rest of my heirloom tomato and lettuce and two tiny little homemade croutons. I've got some water that I put my electrolyte powder in. This stuff tastes so good. It's made just with stevia, so there's no artificial sugars and there's no actual sugar in it. And it's basically got a bunch of minerals in it and some stevia and then some grape extract. It's really good. One little tiny scoop is this entire thing. So I'll probably drink this and then fill it up again this afternoon with just regular water. And that's what I got going on for lunch. <laughs> this is Daphne's evening ritual when her daddy gets home. The thing in her mouth is a stuffed Yoda doll. You looking for the squirrels? Daphne. Hi, honey. Where'd he go? Well, it's dinner time and we're having leftovers. So I have been following a gal named Mary Shenuda, who is the paleo chef. And I've listened to her on different podcasts. She is a paleo chef with a lot of celebrity clients and she invented her own version of bulletproof coffee, which I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's basically coffee that's blended with either coconut oil or butter, which sounds crazy to me. And she had a recipe for this bulletproof coffee of hers, but she calls it unicorn fuel. I decided to get some decaf coffee when I was out today, and I bought the ingredients that I didn't have, including cacao powder, maca powder, and grass-fed butter. And we blended up some decaf coffee. It was not bad, it didn't really have a really distinctive taste, but we're both used to having coffee with cream and sugar in it. I want to show you the two things I added to it because I think I made the unicorn fuel recipe even better with my essential oils. I put one full drop of cinnamon bark and one full drop of peppermint vitality in this blender, which 
was basically made with two cups of coffee and the different ingredients. And I really noticed a difference in how it tastes. So I think I'm definitely going to be experimenting with this recipe. For now, we're gonna plate our leftover dinner. Daphne's been fed. All is well, the Caldwell Homestead. Well, it's been an awesome evening. Again, just relaxing and hanging out at home. I've really been relishing these evenings at home because once I start rehearsals for the musicals that I'm doing this fall, I will pretty much be rehearsing, gosh, at least six nights a week. I don't think I've told you guys the shows I'm doing. I'm gonna start out uh, performing in Camelot and then I am going to perform a role in the musical, The Light in the Piazza. So two amazing musicals that I cannot wait to be a part of this fall. But for now, for the next week, week and a half, I'm gonna enjoy just being at home and relaxing with my husband and being with him and spending quality time with him in the evening. So I'm getting ready for bed and uh, getting ready to set up my diffuser here on my nightstand. And I wanted to share this with you guys on day one of my vlogist, I shared with you this new journal. I'm using this five minute journal, which I'm absolutely loving. The thing is I did not show you the end of it. There's a beginning passage at the top of the page where you fill out some um, parts of the journal in the morning. And then there's a couple of little areas you fill out every evening, hence the five minute journal, because you have five minutes in the morning and five minutes at night. So here is my journal for August 4th. And then here are the two questions that you fill out every evening. Three amazing things that happened today and how could I have made today even better? I love that they're really interesting questions so they force you to think a little bit deeper but it's also something you could do quickly. So I'll share more as we go through Vlogist. Thanks guys so much for watching my vlog. I really, really appreciate it. Take care on the other side of that screen guys. Please like my videos if you liked them with a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll catch you tomorrow for another episode of Vlogist. Good night. Because I love you guys and I'm having fun doing this Vlogist, look what I started to do before anything else today.